YouTube. Today we are back with another video and as you can see we're doing a cooking video today so if you haven't ate dinner or if you already ate dinner you're trying to figure out what to eat tomorrow come on tune into my video and we're making some barbecue hey, chicken stuff. In this pan I've already preheated some oil and to start off I'm going to add in some of my veggies that I got. I got a red uh, bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, orange bell pepper, and some onions. And we're going to go ahead and add that in and get those sauteed a little bit. Now, I don't like to eat raw peppers. This is the reason why I'm going to go ahead and saute these peppers a little bit before I um, add my chicken in. Like, I never want to bite down. That's a big onion. I'm going to just take that out. I never want to bite down into like a raw, uncooked vegetable. So we're basically just going to give these a little saute, not even all the way. I have my heat on like a medium high heat. Um, if you have this stove with the numbers, that's about a six for me or like a five and a half. But I'm gonna leave that alone. And I will be back when our vegetables have cooked down a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I've got my vegetables cooked down to the right tenderness that I would like them to be at. So we're gonna kind of just make a kind of like a pit here in the middle of those vegetables and we're going to add a little bit more oil and we're now going to add in our chicken which I have already seasoned and cut into like bite-sized pieces so let's go ahead and get the top right in there Um, also, off camera to my peppers and onions, I did add just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I also added a fourth a teaspoon of this um, mixed garlic, mixed roasted garlic to be specific. So yeah, I did it off camera. So basically now I'm going to cook this until the chicken is cooked. So probably about 8 to 10 minutes and I'll be back with you guys when the chicken is done has cooked and I've gone ahead and stirred in um, the chicken mix it with the peppers and the onions at this point I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and just a little bit of pepper everything is already seasoned to how I like it so at this point I'm just putting in salt and pepper and that's it I'm now going to add in some carrot, carrots carrots <laughs> I'm now going to add in some carrots and broccoli carrots and broccoli stir it around now now my I know I said I didn't want my peppers to really have a bite to them but I actually do kind of want my carrots and broccoli to have a little bite to my vegetables I don't want them to be like soggy and mushy um, I actually want them to have a bite, so I'm not going to let this cook for too much longer. I am going to make sure it's all nice and mixed in, though, that's for sure. This is the last thing that needed to be added before I add in my beef cube sauce. But we do want to make sure this is nice and mixed. At every stage, you want to always mix. Or at least I do. Notice I haven't really told you all what seasoning I put, and that's only because you can really do whatever seasonings you want to put. The main thing about this, you can put whatever vegetables, you can put whatever, um, you know, seasonings. The main thing about this dish is that it's a barbecue chicken stir fry, so it's chicken and barbecue, you know. And I know people are probably thinking, ooh, is barbecue sauce going to be good with them vegetables? Yes. So that's enough mixing. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my barbecue sauce. And I'm not going to lie, um, I did not use my homemade barbecue sauce this time. And that's simply because 
I was being lazy tonight. So I did not use my homemade barbecue sauce. So the base of this barbecue sauce is um, actually Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory and Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce. That's the base of this barbecue sauce. I'm throwing stuff everywhere, y'all. Um, so yeah, that's the base of the barbecue sauce. But I did add in my own ingredients that I won't tell because I do have a little barbecue recipe and the ingredients that I added to the Sweet Baby Ray's are the same ingredients that I have in my own barbecue sauce, so I won't tell. But yes, the base is Sweet Baby Ray's and then I just added in some of my own ingredients to just make it better. So yes, as you can see, this is looking scrumptious. I'm starving, okay? I have literally not eaten anything all day. Um, so yeah, I'm starving. This, oh my gosh, if y'all could smell this, y'all don't even know. I promise you. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. So, I know you're probably wondering, is that it? Um, no. So, what I like to do, what I really wanted to do was actually, um, throw some lo, ma lo mein noodles in here. That's what I really wanted to do. I'm just going to let that cook for about three or four minutes. I really wanted to cook, throw some lo mein noodles in here, but I already had everything that's in this pot in my pantry, in my fridge, or whatever. So I didn't have to go out to the store and it was raining and nasty today where I live at so I didn't feel like going out to the store. So I scratched the lo mein noodles and instead we're going to eat it with some rice. So as you can see that's what this pan is here. I just got some rice um, in here. out, but I just got some rice in here and this rice is just mixed with butter, um, salt, and pepper. Now usually I usually just like my rice, you know, with some butter, some sugar, and call it a day. But because this is a savory dish, I'm not about to make butter sugar rice. So, yeah. I'm just going to let this cook, like I said, for about three to four minutes. And that's just to kind of thicken up that barbecue sauce so that it actually starts coating your veggies and coating your chicken, you know. Mmm. I really wish y'all could smell this, y'all. It smells so good. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. This is the my barbecue chicken stir fry and how I like to cook it and the ingredients I like to put in it. If you've ever made barbecue chicken stir fry, comment down below. Let me know how you cook yours, you know, the different type of stuff that you put in yours. Also, comment down below any other cooking videos, any other dishes that you like to see me prepare. Um, and yeah. I think this might become a regular on my channel. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure yet. But this is my barbecue chicken stir fry. We are going to have it atop just some seasoned white rice. And yeah, stay tuned for some screenshots, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and see you on another video. Bye.